Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. Let's start with understanding Human Resource Planning or HRP. HRP can be defined as the process by which an organization ensures that it has the right number and types of people at the right place and at the right time to effectively and efficiently complete tasks that it will help the organization achieve its overall objectives. Importance of HRP is Smooth and efficient working of organization by fulfilling its needs for a quality workforce. Filling quality and talent gaps in the workforce. Meet the needs of expansion and diversification. Solve challenges of changing technology. Meet shortfall of increased employee mobility and retain talented employees. Facilitate departmental adjustments through timely transfers and promotions. And anticipate human resource costs to facilitate the budgeting process. Objectives of HRP are Optimal utilization of human resources Meet personnel requirements Place the right person in the right job Prevent disruption of work and enable smooth running of the organization by timely availability of right people Control labor costs by maintaining a proper balance between demand and supply of human resources Training and management development Motivate employees through suitable approaches And lastly Perform succession planning to ensure senior positions do not remain vacant for long when executives retire or quit. Factors affecting HRP are Uncertain future HRP could become ineffective because of the inability to accurately forecast economic, social and technological changes. Management attitude In Indian companies, management often questions the need for HRP as a country has abundant labor. Faulty information system. Without reliable data, it is very difficult to develop a sound human resource plan. Expensive. HRP requires the services of expensive consultants and the need for frequently reviewing plans results in additional expenses. Time consuming. HRP requires considerable time and effort and involves a lot of paperwork. Shortage of high skilled labor. HRP aims to recognize shortages and plan accordingly. Nonetheless, organizations find it difficult to get the right type of personnel. There are six steps in the HRP process that are Analysis of organizational plans and objectives Forecasting human resource requirements Assessment of supply of human resources Estimating manpower gaps Action planning And monitoring and control the first step is analysis of organizational plans and objectives where future organizational structure and job design is studied carefully to anticipate manpower requirements. The next step is forecasting human resource requirements which include the number of employees and types of skills that will be required. Internal factors like expansion, mergers, employee separation etc. and external factors such as competition, economic climate and changes in technology are considered. The next step is assessment of supply of human resources which involves examining organization's current human resource inventory. It determines and evaluates quantity and quality of internal human resources. It also reveals the current status and what can be expected in the future. The fourth step is estimating manpower gaps. Net human resource requirements are identified by comparing the demand and supply forecasts. Either a shortage or surplus of human resources can be expected in the future. Knowledge and skill gap in manpower is estimated in this step. The fifth step is action planning, where action plans are formulated to bridge identified gaps in manpower. Manpower surpluses could be dealt with through redeployment in other units, retrenchment, voluntary retirement schemes, etc., while manpower shortfalls could be met through recruitment, transfers, promotions and training of existing employees. The last step in the HRP process is monitoring and control. In this step, implemented action plans are monitored closely. Manpower plans and programs are reviewed regularly to identify any deficiencies and corrective actions are taken if needed. Now let's take a look at some examples of companies that have successfully implemented HRP in the organization. The first example is of Hindustan Unilever Limited HUL. In HUL, HRP is performed during project implementation for new projects and for expanding existing projects. HUL's organization structure is drawn and vacancies are filled accordingly. 
after project completion for replacing manpower on account of resignation or termination, vacancies are approved and filled up. The next example is of Google. HR managers at Google use trend analysis and scenario analysis for forecasting HR needs. For production processes, Google's HR management identifies possible surpluses and shortages through forecasting techniques. The company addresses HR supply and demand in areas such as the production and distribution of consumer electronics like Nexus and Chromecast by using a flexible strategy where new employees are hired based on forecasts of human resource needs. The next example is of Marriott, which keeps its employees happy on account of successful HRP implementation. Marriott's corporate offices offer great perks like dry cleaning services, a gym, daycare and even flexible hours when possible which helps employees balance work life. Every person who works for Marriott is called an associate, not an employee. Marriott holds annual award ceremony for rewarding outstanding employees. Each shift begins with a stand-up meeting in which employees of all levels can share information, mingle and even dance before they begin their workday. Marriott hires people based on personality and attitude and then trains them to perform their jobs. The last module in this video is on global HR strategy. By definition, HR strategy refers to a system of human resource practices for a particular job or collection of jobs aimed at the best employee performance possible to meet the firm's ultimate goal. What is the need for a global HR strategy? Globalization has changed the business landscape and pushed organizations to develop strategies to manage their humans' assets effectively. Organizations no longer operate within national boundaries. For example, software companies like Infosys and TCS earn most of their revenue from the US and European markets. Human resources are now considered a vital and strategic component of an organization's future plans. HR strategies are especially concerned with devising ways to manage people so as to achieve organizational objectives and building a sustainable competitive advantage that will lead to above average financial performance. Let's understand with the help of a case study on Tata Consulting Services or TCS. TCS has employees from 103 nationalities and around 6.7% of the employees are non-Indians. As a part of their global HR strategy, TCS uses many employee engagement initiatives such as Maitri, a team within HR which offers benefits for employees along with their spouses. Additionally, employees can nominate a star employee for each project. Star Gems points can be redeemed by the employees for various products. Additionally, TCS has clubs for trekking, music, dance, photography, quizzes etc. to maintain a fun atmosphere at work. Thank you.